Hello, I'm Lester Lee, and welcome to the first episode of Movies Now in 2010. This week we're going to talk about Youth in Revolt as well as Daybreakers, and mention Crazy on the Outside and Leap Year. And now for our feature presentation. Now, if you watched last week's episode, you saw that one of the trends we mentioned that was very big in 2009 was the excessive amounts of book adaptations and movie remakes. Well, starting the year off right, we have Youth in Revolt, which is a book adaptation based on the book of the same name by C.D. Payne. In it, we see Nick Twist, played by Michael Sarah, who is a very shy, reserved uh, guy, not really good with the ladies. And while on vacation in a trailer park, he is taken with Jeannie Saunders, who is very intelligent and worldly and not interested in Nick. So in an attempt to woo her, he creates an alter ego named Francois, who has blue eyes, a mustache, and a deeper voice, and is very edgy, and it's everything that girls would want. All the while, we see Nick trying to deal with his crazy divorced parents and his mom's new boyfriends, one of whom is played by Zach Galifianakis. All goes well until Francois causes Nick to be a wanted criminal. Another interesting thing to note about this movie is that it also played at the Savannah Film Festival last year in 2009. So if you want to see a movie that promises to be funny, go see Youth in Revolt. You're going to jail. I'll only ask once that you and your adorable sweater step away from the door. <laughs> Seems to me you've got two options. Fake your own death or commit suicide. I think you're being so bad. Not half as bad as the nasty things I want to do to you right now. If that's okay with you. Well, it seems like it's too early in 2010 to distance ourselves from 2009, as evidenced by the fact that we have another trend rearing its ugly head. The vampire trend. I know I said if I saw another vampire movie, I would go crazy, and I'm almost there, but Daybreakers looks like it might be a little bit better than the par for the course for vampire movies. It's actually a pretty interesting concept. In a world where a plague has turned most of the humans into vampires, the vampires are running low on blood, so they're harvesting humans to try and keep them with sustenance. But there's a small seedy underbelly of humans working with a few of the vampires trying to regain the powerful human stature. So if you want to see another vampire movie that looks refreshingly new, then go see Daybreakers. I like being a vampire, Sam. I'm good at this. I was never very good at being human. Immortality is a miracle. We are blessed. Also coming out this weekend is Crazy on the Outside, which is Tim Allen's directing debut. In it, we see Allen playing a recently paroled convict who realizes that having to deal with his family, namely his insane sister, played by Sigourney Weaver, may be worse than being in jail. We also have Leap Year, in which a girl is intending to propose to her boyfriend in the Irish tradition of doing so on February 29th, but due to bad weather and cancelled flight, she's forced to take alternate routes to get to Dublin. On the way, she encounters another man who might be gaining her fancy and makes her question whether or not she wants to propose to her boyfriend. Youth in Revolt, Daybreakers, Crazy on the Outside, and Leap Year come out on Friday, January 8th, 2009. For local times and listings, go to savannahnow.com slash do slash movies now. Once again, I'm Lester Lee for Movies Now at savannahnow.com.